game and only drop two other rounds against them. Yeah, absolutely. Now we are going to go into the knife round now. If you are tuning in for the first time on Counter-Strike, this will determine on which side uh, we're going to choose the CT or T side. And so the team that wins this out being Team Question Mark, and Desibel and Cruden left up. They are going to be able to choose which side of the map they start on. They, of course, opt for the counter-terrorist side. And that is the defensive side, of course. For those of you who are not familiar with this game, we like to... We, we, everyone needs to be involved. Counter it's an Strikes educational a, sort of channel, it? Is. isn't it? Counter-Strike's <laughs> a good game to watch for eSports. It's competitive. It's very highly skill-based. Um, and, and I think that, you know... Got to explain it for the little guy. I want to encourage I'm people. I'm pretty to join sure, you know, answering on that skill-based thing. I don't think Moe would agree after the Tech Nine he received. <laughs> <laughs> no, he certainly wouldn't. And it's going to be the rush from drop. Bubsy and Leah is picking up a kill a piece, and Bubsy picking up a second now as he pushes around the site to hold. Cruden going to drop now as well. And it is now the 2v5, a great push here for Tainted Minds, and they certainly know how to play the T side well. And Frequent picks up Cruden. Dezebel, the last man standing, and doesn't check behind him. <laughs> and it's going to be <laughs> Dezebel picking up Bubsy, but Dexter grabs Dezebel in quick fashion. A great start to this map. Absolutely. And going back on what I said before, you know, they're having that execute on the A site. You know, if you can open up with that and show your dominance in that outside area towards the A site coming out, you know, even in, even splitting towards from Pop Dog mm. and through the A main sort of teak on area, you, know, you you set yourself up really well late game. And you have that confidence to kind of drive through. Oh. Great shot. Desimal taking out Sir Dexter there in T Com, but the push is going to be coming from BSK. Really the only one to defend it right now, only with that Deagle. Can he do anything here? SK has pushed in deep. Liaz will pick up Noisia. Inject running through here. Cruden at the back grabs in frequent. A big kill for this round. And SK has spotted out. Liaz will get the tap. And has seen Ofno as well. Damage down. It's going to be Cruden finishing him off. Bubsy, the last man standing. Spray control. And SK will finish him off. Cruden accidentally suiciding. Not what you want. Not really. But it's okay. He has SK and Desibol to finish off the rest of this round. TQM wins it out. Round number two is theirs. They have two AKs to take with them and plenty of cash. Unbelievable work. Cruden swore he hit the ramp, but uh, it was not going to be okay. <laughs> not in the end here. No, a great retake by TQM. That, that flank coming around from Cruden. Uh, yeah, right in the back with the CZ. Absolutely perfect. So... Uh, TQM answering that initial aggression that Tainted Minds had in the first round perfectly. And it's going to be a short round here for Tainted Minds, I'm feeling, as they're looking to push in aggressively with their Tech Nines and make use of a very short range fight. Although they get to push onto the site, it's going to be the push now. Dexter gets on first and he's the first to drop. Offnu going to go down to Noisia as well. Cruden picking up two there with Dexter and Liaz. And Injet grabbing in frequent. It rounded out by Team Question Mark. And that is round number three falling their way. TQM taking the lead now after tying it up. And once again, you know, and I'm going to go back a fair way. A fair way hashtag now. throwback. Hashtag throwback Sunday. Um... <laughs> Seeing Desibel and SK having those AK in their hands, that just proves my point that second round AK buys are not a good idea. Uh, all right, Hero, calm down. High progression it has its risks, and we've just seen them exposed, okay? <laughs> you can calm down with your second round. Don't buy AKs. Oh, and SK! SK and Cruden! It is the grenade to the AK, and what a backup highlight reel right there uh, for that kill. SK looking for a fourth here. It's going to be Cruden backing him in with Desibel picking up Dexter. Team question mark went out the round and SK went on a tad well timed nade and Molotov to just set it all up. Easy spray. Yeah, absolutely. Cruden putting down that Molotov or SK play at that close angle with that AK to set up that um, that meat grinder effect absolutely perfectly. And once again, we're seeing a strong start from TQM. Obviously, Tainted Mind's taking that first round, but they have uh, TQM have bounced back, gaining the last three. This is good stuff from there. Answering back from the last map. They certainly are. The thing is, can they continue it? Ultimate question here, and oh my goodness, there is the show. Cruden gets Dexter, and Noisia has spotted Liaz out in the drop, and he's rotated back. Liaz just double-checking underneath, making sure nobody's here. He's going to get the, the short drops. Inject picks up off new off cam, and Liaz is looking to push onto this site. Team question mark doing very well. Liaz with the one-tap, lines it up, looks for Cruden, will not find him, gets damaged down. 
Bubsy picks up Noisier, and he's going to be traded out by Cruden. Cruden now pushing with his delusion. It's SK picking up Liaz with the AK from Con. Infrequent, the last man left with his fidget spinner and, and a deagle. And he's up against Inject on 1 HP and a UMP. Cruden and SK as well on full health and geared to the teeth. Absolutely. We've seen some really big deagle plays, you know, tonight, but um, I, I'm not too confident right now. Infrequent, he's a good play. He's very sharp. Oh! Right now. And a very big play, getting that opening kill on Cruden. That opened things up hugely. Inject only on one HP. If Infrequent can find a gun, that would set him up really perfectly. And it looks like he's going to be able to get that UMP. That will work Inject out. needs a bullet. Favor. He's let himself be known, but SK at the back. Infrequent pushed on far too ham. He did not have much time left, though, and he will pay the consequences of his slow play. Despite getting a very good kill on Cruden there, it is now going to be Team Question Mark with a fourth round win. And it is a full buy-up for both sides. Liaz picking up the AK. It is one or plays. SK has an AK for the side of TQM. Otherwise, it's M4s with an AWP. AKs and an AWP. And round number six will go to the Fraggers. Absolutely. And we are going to see the economy sort of even out now. We're having a bit of a... The first real gun round coming in now where both teams do have the economy to buy up and get utility. And it is going to be an outside take... Going on to the A site now. Noisier taking out. Oh Bubsy. my god. Cruden's been blinded and Ofnu has walked straight past him. They're colliding in the smoke and Ofnu will get the term to turn to pick up Cruden. Of course, there has been a kill on the other side. SK picks up infrequent. Inject gets Lee as in the turn. He's coming around now as Dezabel grabs Ofnu. And that is the closer and team question mark, I should say. Team question mark. Take out their fifth round win in round number six. A big round for them. So close. Couldn't believe the kiss in that smoke, though. <laughs> Off knew had a big turn. That was like a romance movie. It was. Better than Twilight. Dead. Yeah, I'm not going to... I'm not going to... Yeah, yeah like, that, like normally you argue yeah. me for meme's sake, but that's just not something you can do. Nah. I'm sorry, Twilight fans. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Bubsy going to be looking for this mid-push here uh, with his teammate in a frequent on the AWP. Noisier using, making good use of utility. Going to drop one on pop. Not going to find anything. And frequent getting shot off, but does not connect. No kills here. Has been spotted out, though, by the pop off that train. Desbel going to smoke out in Ivy. That's Lee as an off new back there that now cannot make a push without pushing through smoke. Desbel on the rotate. Yeah, with that smoke down, you don't have a lot of opportunity for the T to actually push through that. They do need to kind of go in a bit blind and will make some noise surely if they push through it. So it's Inject smart, with a big kill it. though, man. Infrequent going down, not having that AWP anymore is a big opener for Team Question Mark to take six rounds here on the CT side. As we enter the last minute, we're going to see the Execute come through strong in a moment. The bomb now going to be picked up from T spawn and then moved towards the A side, I feel. Yeah, I'm feeling... I'm not sure what they're actually going to do. Yep, it's going to be a T-Con push. So we're going to see the bomb go out. Leanne's going to take out Dezabel. Noisier. Oh, the trade's coming out, though. It's 3v2. Sir Dexter and Bubsy going to be left alone. Inject, Cruden and SK to try and hold them off here. No, a miss shot on Inject. That's something we don't see very often. Cruden will tidy it up. And Sir Dexter, he's left by his own. Just oh, that orb. Oh. He has the bomb, though. He could make his way towards b site. There is going to be a player rotating, however. It looks like it's going to be SK. That is a full rotate. We've now got Cruden over yeah. here as well. And it's going to be the play from the spawn coming out. Cruden going to get the kill with the headshot and through the wall. And that will close out that round. Team question mark are six rounds to one for Tainted Minds. The five-round lead here for the CT side in the first half of the final map in this two-map matchup. Of course, we're here on train. After coming from Overpass, Tainted Minds had a 16-6 win over Team Question Mark in the first map in this series, for those of you just joining us. And it is already Team Question Mark at that map. Well, the, the amount of maps won, I should, uh, rounds won, I should say, for their previous map. So if they can uh, push this one out a little bit harder, perhaps we can see them win out here on train. Here comes the push, and now it's Team Tainted Minds executing. Inject missing a shot here. Will pick up Liaz. Goes for the turn. Inject picks up two. Noisier will grab in frequent and often he finds two for himself as well before going down to Dezabel. Dezabel looking to finish here, and that is Dexter down. Team question mark wins the round, and Tainted Minds nowhere to be found. Absolutely not. This is really interesting now. I think 
TQ have actually found their map. This is, yeah, this yeah. is absolutely massive. Honestly, these guys really need this map. They absolutely desperately need it. They played a little bit inconsistent as of late. And Tainted Mines, you know, coming off the back of their first week, I was, I was, as we've spoken about before, and not as strong in their second week. So both teams actually probably really looking for uh, some some success in the third round here. Infrequent does pick up Cruden. Inject is watching these stairs. Bubsy has pushed out. He knows that Ofnu is there. He's going to move out as that flash goes down. Opportunity to flash himself in here for the poke on Bubsy. Bubsy is going to push and Inject has seen him but misses the shot. Bubsy now with an AK and an AWP at his feet with the option. SK watching this angle but Bubsy is not going to push. And I think you're right, Inkat. I think the team question mark have found their groove. Even if it is just for a little while, at least they've done better than last map already with seven rounds won in this first half. Jezebel with the org. We're seeing it pulled out yet again. That's the second time we've seen it pulled out tonight. And yet to see it put to very good use, though, in my opinion. Dexter and Infrequent are going to push up and are going to look for this push onto the B site. There's only one CT on B, that being SK. That's it. But it's a similar sort of investment. SK getting taken out. Bubsy, that opens up this B site immensely. The bomb is going to go down at the back of the B, B site train. Finally, the e Org is going to get you. He's going to get take out Bubsy there. Who's on Fu is on that site. And it's going to be a 2v4. Oh, Noisy on the flank though. Gets up this ladder quietly. Going to look for the behind. Dexter going to look back for the poke. And will get taken down. Often gets Dezebel and infrequent turns to secure the round for Tainted Mines. 2-7. Two to seven. It. The economy on Tainted Mines is just so strong now, though. It is. It, just, it, it is honestly just... It, it can't be stopped. You've still got two players that are above 6k. One player on 4k and the other's, you know, a low-ish. But um, honestly, these guys are looking really good moving forward. They can still drop another one or two rounds, potentially, and still be able to get a, a, a mostly full wise. So, you know, Tainted Mines, they've got a little bit of ground yet to cover. Obviously, 7-2 to two is the scoreline. They need to pick it up here. Lots of grenades coming into that T-Con. They are doing their best to prevent the push coming through from Tainted Mines, but I this could be too to much too early. That's right. I thought they I thought they expected full aggression here. Tainted Mines have AKs with an AWP, and they're playing smart over to B. The stack on A, not going to be healthy. We do have one member, that is Bubsy, who was pushed out into the A site and managed to get out there very well with good use of utility. Dezebel is playing the back corner, and Bubsy can just sit here and wait. He's going to push harder, and Cruden is going to drop him hard. It looks like it is going to be a full B execute. However, the smoke is going to go down. SK with a fantastic molly. And the grenade's going to go. That's going to do some damage. Just a little bit. So the decks are taking the most of that damage. That, but that Molotov blocking off the entry into the site. We are seeing the flash and the push coming in. Can the CTs hold this? No, they can't. Cruden getting traded out. He did manage to get out Dex, but Liaz will take him down. It is 3v2. Inject with a great shot and infrequent. Inject being the key zone with that AWP holding this CT defense. They're waiting for Noisy to push. Liaz is watching his position. Ofnu as well, potentially aware of him being there. And they're going to cover the flank. There it is, Liaz getting the kill and is down to Inject and Dezebel to get this defusal. Very good Molotov to secure the bomb and run the time down. They're not going to poke yet. They're going to wait. Dezebel on the drop. And now he goes for the defuse. He looks to stick this out in the Molotov, but will be put down by Ofnu. And Ofnu wins the round for Tainted Minds with a 3K and the Molotov secure. Absolutely. That 10th round was absolutely intense. I really thought the CTs could have pulled that back, but that lack of utility into that late round, using most of it early round, expecting that aggression really did cost them in the end there. Uh, no smokes or anything to, to block off any line of sight or even to put out those Molotovs. That would have actually won them the round if they had that. If they had a smoke, that's all they needed to finish that round off. That absolutely. was it. Enjoy playing that close angle though. Well, yeah. That's very a very tight angle. angle. Let's see what we can do. Great. He's not going to find any kills, though. Inject sitting, of course, in con. Cruden with an 8 out. Will land it straight on Bubsy's face. And that's 42 damage. Unhealthy. Bubsy with the UMP. Looking to play those close angles. So he's not going to be able to play them too well when he's under half health. No, not too well at all. He is going to be a one-shot to a, yeah, to an M4 to the face. So he needs to be very careful with the way he plays it. He is playing the role of the bomb planter, though, so it's not the end of the world. Let some of those high HP players get the entries. 
That's right. See what they can do. Obviously, he's only got the UMP, so he can play mop up crew with the, uh, the AKs can play, play entry. janitor. That's it. The UMP. I don't know. That's, that doesn't really sound like a mop, does it? Uh, I mean, it's 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 a little unprofessional. Oh, uh, wow. Well, that actually kind of hurt me inside a little bit. <laughs> I'm glad it did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's going to be the last 35 seconds of the round when Tainted Minds executes onto A. Noisier is going to see all of his utility come out. He's going to play up in my favourite spot. That's up in heaven. And here comes the reigning artillery. As we see with the X-ray, it all comes out. Noisier is waiting to see the push from drop. Off to already on the site. And Frequence picked up Cruden to start this push off. Inject has pushed back. Noisier does get Liaz from up top, but Ofnu will trade him out. Dezebel picks up in Frequent, and that's the start of the retake. Ofnu playing in between the trains. It's Dexter getting SK. Dezebel playing back towards Ivy entrance. Ofnu on site still, and Inject gets Bubsy. It's Ofnu and Dexter. Inject and no longer Dezebel. Inject playing from heaven, waiting to see Ofnu on the ladder there, and will get no damage done. Ofnu will drop and has given away Inject's position at Con. He's going to go back and save this all for smart decision. And the round will go to Tainted Minds, 7-4 being the scoreline after round number 11. Absolutely. You know, a very smart thing to save this AWP right now. You know, th I did say that they had the economy to kind of go through for a couple of rounds, but dropping an AWP right now would be absolutely economy breaking. They don't want to lose this right now. Inject has played very well with it so far. Will he? Yes, he's going to oh! lose it. Sir Dex are going to be taking him out very at the last second there. That is absolutely huge. TQM, their economy minds. is crushed right now. It certainly is. That AWP could have done great things in round number 12, but it has been stripped of them and tainted minds of the economy to buy one of their own for infrequent yet again. Let's see it. We are seeing another UMP buy. And this is going to be the colliding, the CTs with the aggression, and it's going to be a mow down. Liaz and Bubsy and Dexter, the combined efforts running into the meat grinder, but Noisier trading it out. Now Noisier. it's very winnable for the CTs, to be honest. I mean, they still have, they have control of a couple of guns here. Oh, Desbo are not actually able to find one. Noisier. Noisier's going to rotate to try and this. find Infrequent here. They're going to run into each other. Infrequent has the Tech 9. Going to fire some off. And Noisier knows that he is there now. Desbo pushing up and with Noisier. And has spotted him out. But Infrequent gets the kill. Noisier trades it back. And now is the time to potentially go for the save. No, going to pick up the Tech 9. No, going to look for the AWP. There it is. Good choice. Noisier now going to look to save in drop. And Liaz going to find him looking straight down. Get that orb back. 15 HP left on Liaz. And an easy round for Tainted Minds as they now bring it back to 7-5. They're looking to push this 8-7. I think they've finally figured out that B site is their site for this T site. Um, most of their rounds one, they've been able to just grab that site and uh, and hold on to it and not really give too much away. So you know, closing off that, closing that round off with two players still intact on this map is is quite a feat. So I oh, congratulate Tony Mind right now. A great flash to blind off Desbo and force him back. That peak could have been really big catching those T players off guard, but he's going to get forced back. Three players playing that outside of Ivy area. This is dangerous for him. He's going to be caught out by himself. There'll be no one to trade him. However, Bubsy has already gone down and Dezebel has sprayed that area, tagging infrequent. And the Molotov comes out to make him move, although he was already prepped and ready for that answer. Infrequent moving down Ivy now, as they do have the Molotovs to zone out any potential CT players. The bomb sitting back towards T spawn. And Tainted Mines are going to play their slow game yet again. Look for picks and then execute on a side. Dezebel going to flash in Inject here. Moves forward to bounce this one in. Flash comes through. Liaz cops it. Oh, Dezebel gets taken some damage from Ofnu with the Molotov coming out. Lots of nades prevent Dezebel from pushing. And Liaz will get the kill. Cruden grabs Ofnu and Dexter gets Cruden in response. Noisier getting Dexter in the straight trades are coming straight out. And Inject oh, hit great that shot, shot on Liaz. In the pass, Infrequent going to go up the train, Inject goes for the shot, and bounces off, and SK will close it out. TQM win the round, 8-5 now is the score. That's it, this is a much tighter game than I really anticipated, to be honest, with the way Tainted Minds were playing in this first game. Oh yeah. In the first game, just on overpass, if you missed it there, the scoreline did finish off 16-6. Tainted Minds with a very convincing win, but not looking all that hot at the moment. If they can get maybe one or two more rounds, they probably set themselves up quite well, but 
TQM just having an answer for pretty much everything that they do. So far, there's the nade. Going to get some damage down on Liaz and Dexter. Dezabor played well from Ivy here. He got heavily flashed out. It was chain flash. He, he copped, the mid, I think it was three, if not four, flashes in the face last round. Bubsy going to take out Cruden on the push here towards B. It's going to force a rotate from Inject to move towards that connector entrance just to make sure nobody is pushing. Team question mark, though, are playing smart and non-aggressive here. Dezabel is going to be forced out by the Molotov with the smoke popping to the right of Ivy. However, there is no push from in, uh, from Liaz and Dexter. They're going to move back. Liaz still playing in Ivy, in deep Ivy. And it's going to be noisier with the push. And he spotted them out in T-Spawn. He's also he spotted the there. bomb. He certainly has. He knows that they are non-committal. But that it will likely go around to the B site now. As he has spotted it out. Often he has pushed on the site and has not seen SK until now. SK not going to get the kill on him. Instead, it's Inject. SK moves his aim to Bubsy. And he pulls it through. Now he's going to be moving up ramp. Dezebel gets Liaz as well on the back lines. Infrequent with the answer though. Grabs SK as SK was not watching in front of him. Inject flashed out by Dexter who can now get the plant down. Backed in by Infrequent. And the push from the CTs will come from Connector to A. Noisier moving down the right hand side. It's all going to come to this as the Molotov comes out on the bomb. Force everyone off of it. Dexter still located nearby. Noisier on the push. Dexter gets one. Noisier drops the other. Noisier with not enough utility goes for the stick. It is frequent and easy poke. <laughs> and the PM shot just at the end there. Beautiful stuff by infrequent. It does look like this is a lot tighter than I really thought. I think as I'm as I said before, you know, this looks like I'm I'm going to say eight seven. Yeah, I'm going to say 8-7. Tainted Mines will bring this one back, and then they're going to look to have a powerful second half to push this one out to another win and 2-0. However, in saying that, it has been a big game from TQM. Infrequent, taking out Dezebel with a start. Copped, copped a nade to the face, and he's got off new. He's going to get noisier as he was fully flashed. Off new picking up Inject as well. It's a great start here. He's looking for a third, but Cruden will put him down with the CZ. It's now a 2v3, infrequent with the AWP. Dexter picks up Cruden. SK goes for the drop, and Liaz finishes off the half. Tainted mine seven rounds to team question marks. Eight, a great round here. Unbelievable work coming through from Tainted Minds to really close this one and uh, close the gap as well. Well, considering that they were 7-2 at one stage, that's a fantastic comeback on that first half. One round to five in terms of their comeback. Cannot argue with their ability to play this map. TQM burst out of the gates hard. And then Tainted Minds returned the volley. It's now, of course, the pistol round at the start of the second half. TQM against Tainted Minds. TQM enter with a one round advantage as they play the T side. And it's all going to come down to how they execute. Bubsy picks up one. He picks up two. He's looking for a third here. He will not pick up the third as of yet. He finds SK running across and he picks. No, that's Dexter getting crewed in. And SK as well. Bubsy will finish it off with a 3K. Full house of Bubsy and Dexter. Bubsy and Dexter absolutely cleaning up TQM there. They just didn't have the utility usage that uh, that Tainted Minds had in that first round. We saw, obviously, um, the connector area, and I, th I think the back, kind of leading towards CT, was also smoked off potentially at that first round. So, um, you know, fantastic usage from Tainted Minds at the very start, and TQM just not able to manage it for that first round of the second half here. But we're going into round 17. Plenty of deagles around the place. Two deagles, one on Noisier, one on SK. Noisier trying to light someone up. He was able trying to for infrequent there, but it wasn't going to happen. SK does get tagged by Bubsy in Drop Hut through the smoke. Dezebel looking to push there as well. Gruden is in Ivy, and Dexter takes him down to 7 HP with the spray. No damage traded. If only you had the Call of Duty hit markers, then you'd be able to tell. Then you go... There's <laughs> a meme. Um, took. But, uh, Bubsy no. and Infrequent have managed to get a couple of kills, though, and have opened up this round for the CTs. The score is 8-8. Eight, eight. Even Tainted Minds looking for the flip. That's it. They are setting themselves up quite well. They're going to take these next rounds Ooh. on food, taking out Dezebel. a very great shot with that UMP at long range. Quite long range for that weapon, but nonetheless very powerful indeed. So Bubsy holding the close angle near Pop Dog, just hitting here at Electric Rocks. Can he find anything? He knows those players are there. He would have sound there, heard the sound cues. 
Waited for the flash, but nothing coming out. The player's a bit undecisive as to where they're going. Inject and Cruden. I think they've decided. Well, they've left the bomb back there as well. That doesn't help. Liaz almost with the turn, but Inject is going to get the kill on him. And now pushed down towards the site. Ofnu is there, though. Gets another kill and looks for the third. He'll finish it off. Great stuff by Ofnu. Some absolutely fantastic marksmanship with that SMG. Closing that off. Now, round... Going into round 18 now, obviously TQM, they're not going to have the economy to buy up. They didn't have any bomb plants going into this one as of yet. So no utility apart from Dezebel and uh, with a flash and a Molotov. So I guess he's probably going to stick maybe in upper's area. They might try and push this B aggressively and keep him up as a Molotov off the bomb. But we'll see how we go. Liaz, he's trying to clean up with that UOP3! And Whoa. he's going to get stopped by Inject, finishing it off with the, four, with the fourth. But uh, Bubsy and Frequent closing it off there. Great stuff by Liaz. And look at that economy. $7,050. Huge stuff by the big Liaz there. <laughs> he's going to just keep himself a FAMAS. He's not going to buy anything up. Oh, Unbelievable yeah, work. We're going to see. Yeah, that's the pause coming up from Team Question Mark. It's tactical, and they need it. They do. They, they need really, really it do. coming into this. Of course, looking at the major rounds in this map, we've had four from Tainted Minds. Most of them coming in the all, three out of the four coming in the last three rounds. The first three rounds of this half. Of course, we saw the three K from Bubsy at the start in round sixteen. Off new with the three K backed up in round seventeen. Round 18 being Liaz with the UMP as well with another 3k. So Tainted Mines so far have taken out a total of 10 major rounds compared to TQM's 3 over the last 2 maps. That's sort of the thing that we were seeing with Infrequent. Uh, sorry, not Infrequent. Um, immunity. Yes. In that, in that I mean, first we have game seen it with Infrequent, but it's, it was Immunity uh, round oh, 1. Yeah. <laughs> but um, no, seeing Immunity in that first, uh, that first match that we had on tonight, that was a similar sort of situation. We had a lot of 3k's. Going back to my notes here. Yeah, easily, easily probably around the 10 mark there. Oh, easily. Actually, it was around the 15 for immunity yeah. overall for across their two-map series. That's huge. And, and, I mean, when you're looking at those map, like those rounds in those maps, major rounds for players means that it, it causes a disadvantage. It's either causing a disadvantage early in the round or it's evening out the scores and, and bringing back a disadvantage. 100%. Either of which flips around. Yeah, definitely does. Definitely does. And frequent with a big kill on SK to start us off here. As we are back in round number 19 after the tactical pause for Team Question Mark. Noisier picking up Dexter with... <laughs> this is... Noisier with the, the BM here. He's happy to have pushed and uh, got the kill. Oh, actually, Dexter pushed Ivy in, and, and Noisier has answered back. <laughs> SK giving his teammate some egging on there. <laughs> Perfect stuff. Um, Cruden picking up Bubsy is going to be another good kill here for Team Question Mark. The 3v4, though, Tainted Mines still with plenty of power. Offney trying to get the tag here. Not going to find anyone with the wall bang. No one there to receive his bullets. And Team Question Mark playing the passive game. They're going to take their time to push out. There's a bell. Oh, does that's take big dink a, right there. Wow. Massive. That's going to hurt. Desibel down to 31 HP. Noisier and Desibel both very low right now. It's still favouring the, the, the T's right now. Obviously, three CT's not really all that much to hold off for, but that, those low players are going to help the team, Tainted Mines guys out a little bit here. So, let's see what they can do. Obviously, the Molotov is going to go down. He's going to watch it for the cross. And a good frag on Desibel. He's going to poke back and let his teammates do the work. Let the Molotov do the work. Inject going to find one as well. Left into a 2v2 now. Liaz just going to take off more heads. A beautiful wow. 3k for Liaz himself there. And a convincing round for Tainted Minds in the end. Liaz with the 3k. It was the M4 and the Molotov that secured it for him. And like you said, big round for Tainted Minds as they push it now to a three round lead. And they're setting 11 to 8. They're looking for this to be a 28 round game. Not a 28 round, yes, a 28 round game. Not a, no, what am I talking about? They're looking for this to be a 25 round game, I should say, as they look to take out the next five in a maths. row. I'm doing well with my maths. Mate, uh, oh, oh, you caught me writing stats down. Liaz is just throwing me off my game because he's getting too many big kills. <laughs> he's just too good, mate. He's too good. Oh, please shoot. Please shoot. No spray coming from Dexter. He's going to get one. One shot, two shot. 
obviously Three for those four. who oh look at that <laughs> obviously for those who aren't uh, used to watching CS:GO, uh, they the players obviously can't see these outlines. Otherwise, they'd be able to shoot through all the smokes and everything. So yeah, that's right. No, they, they can't see that at all. That's for us. That's for us. That's for you at home. The tees. And a great push coming out from the T's here. Sir Dexter, he's going to get two. Can he find three? No, infrequent will take it away. And Crude with the tech nine. Doing work as much as he can. Going to do damage, but no. Oh. Noisier with a 1D to answer here. Noisier. Can the two T's answer back and finish this round off? Oh, that's noisy on. Bubsy picks up an M4. It's off new with a flash. Flashes himself in to move around. Noisier is the last man standing. And Liaz finishes up down the tunnel. Tainted Minds win this round out. It's now 12 to 8. 12 to 8. 12 to 8. That sounded very musical, Josh. Yeah, well, it's, it's for the kiddies. That's for the kids. <laughs> the kids at home. Right. We're a family friendly show. We are. Deep As we watch counter terrorists and terrorists murder each other, fighting over control of bomb sites, it's a family friendly show. 12 to 8. 12 to 8. <laughs> <laughs> Team question mark against Tainted Minds, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. Tainted Minds obviously going to be going for a bit of an interesting buy here. They may have thought that Tease might have saved a little bit here again. Big push but though, Cruden taking out Bubsy as Bubsy gets aggressive there. In mid-con, it's going to be a Dexter and Offnu taking out Dezebel there as Liaz goes pop dog. He gets one, and the cleanup from Tainted Minds is too much. Offnu picking up two in that round. Very big. Karath calling the pause on behalf of Team Question Mark. Of course, Karath being the coach for them. And uh, that is going to be match pause. I believe another tactic. No, that is going to be the. Uh, that's going to be a tech pause there as we've had someone drop. Yeah, indeed we have. Unfortunate, once again, one of those things of online gaming, but that's, that's right. okay. Run us through some of the stats here that we've got. Okay, so having a look at it now, we've got a total of six major rounds for this map. It's been backed in 16, 17, 18, 19 yeah, so far by Tainted huge. Minds. Four rounds in the half. We've obviously had round 20. And four majors with three Ks coming from Bubsy, Ofnu, and two from Liaz back to back. So he did quite well. That Molotov mm. that he placed holding onto the B site was what really made it in round number 19. He got an extra kill off of that, got a lot of damage dealt, and that helped the team with that bomb plant. It's going to help his ADR on uh, HLTV. Sure is. <laughs> Liaz is going to be looking pretty after tonight. Oh, I'm sure he is already looking quite pretty. I mean, he's a gorgeous man, so... I've, I've never seen him, but I'm sure he is. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, if Tainted Minds perform well enough, you'll be seeing him at LAN. This is true. Incentive. And you know, honestly, right now, Tainted Minds are proving themselves to be at this top tier. They are. And so, you know, moving forward from this, you know, they are looking very convincing mm. you know, to take out at least this map as well, to go to 2-0 uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, and put themselves very good in the standings as far as uh, continuing the Winter Series here. Yeah, look, the Winter Series, for those of you that haven't checked it out yet, is looking pretty tied up with most teams sitting... 2-2, two, two, including Team Question Mark, who came over in the first week, a 2-0 win against Atletico, but then lost 0-2 the week following. So uh, it was a pretty rough loss for them as well. They got dropped pretty hard week two. Yeah. Now coming week three, they're looking to fight to prevent the 2-4. to four. Yeah, it's definitely something, especially early on in this series, you don't want to be putting yourself at the bottom of the bracket right now. And, uh, you know... <sighs> Both, uh, you know, both Atletico and uh, Team Question Mark are kind of looking not that great at the moment compared to no. the rest of the teams. Um, so, you know, moving forward here, they're probably Team Question Mark can just at least go for the three to three. That's right. That's what they're aiming for is to even up their scoreline. At least that fifty percent in terms of map wins puts them better than others in terms yeah. of results so far in this league. Absolutely. You know, and you know, if I had to put my money on anyone right now, Tainted Minds are looking really strong. If I had to pick my top three, okay, I would have to go with Chiefs, Tainted Minds, and uh, Immunity. In that order? Chiefs top, Tainted Minds second, Immunity third? To be honest, yeah. yeah. I, I'm actually going to put it in that order. I reckon Tainted Minds at the moment, the way they execute a site and the aggressiveness that they show on their CT sides, mm -hmm. I think it catches a lot of teams off guard. A lot of Australian teams do play a little bit more passive on their CT sides, yeah. whereas Tainted Minds have shown sort of a bit of initiative, they have. and um, especially on those long pushes we saw on overpass, um, yeah. and, and especially with infrequent going up onto the um, the playground, uh, sorry, not playground, uh, party, 
going yes. up at a party and at least in doing that crossfire he's watching as people are coming up from sort of the Tcon area into playground and you've got the other two players swinging around from long it's a well rounded aggression as well it's not unmetered you know that's yeah. something we've mentioned measured for the last aggression. couple of weeks it's measured aggression they are putting that they're playing aggressively in their positioning but they're not over aggressing they're not poking straight away and just spraying the, uh, in frequent playing that party position as an information gap yeah. so that his teammates in long can get the kills. We are coming a little late into this round. Leah has picked up SK and Noisia has grabbed off to Bubsy dying a little earlier here. And the kills are spread. It's Inject grabbing Leah's bomb is planted. Dexter and Infrequent a challenge to grab this round. Infrequent does have the AWP and he's looking down a long angle here. Inject and Desi are playing hard in the sights and uh, between the train cars. And of course, Desi sitting there, waiting. Noisy are playing a little higher back. Good nade is going to get a lot of damage down. Dexter needs to look behind himself. Inject pushing hard. Tainted Mines are going to opt to probably hold off on getting the defuse. They don't have much time left. And although they do have kits, they'd have to get two kills for that. Not enough time now for them. Desibel is going to be pushing out here. Infrequent is going to turn to find him. That's a good exit frag. And team, team question mark. He's going to win the round. I mean, you talked about your placings. You said that Chiefs tainted mines. Team question mark. Immunity. Immunity. Sorry, team immunity. Yep. I think that the person nipping at their heels for fourth at the moment is a decider between Legacy, Team Question Mark, and for me, Funky Monkeys. I think Funky Monkeys. Those three are kind of sitting in that equal fourth position right now, yeah. looking no, for I would who agree. can I would pull agree, through. Definitely. I mean, if TQM managed to kind of grab this back and show some uh, show some initiative and aggression and, and get some quick rounds here and put themselves back into stead for this game, you know, honestly, they'll look a lot better in my standings as far as, you know, moving forward for the rest of the season. A great oh, name wow. to catch out Dexter there. Fantastic. So the CT is really at the disadvantage now. Lia's rather very low. It's going to be off new getting inject there for the trade outs and holding the A site. We see the push coming through here. Offnu's going to try and catch him out. Dezebel gets one. Bubsy taking down Cruden. And Noisy and Offnu actually going to rotate around the train behind one another. Oh, no. Completely behind one, other one, one another. Noisy not going to be looking back as he looks to go up heaven. And Offnu will catch him out on the ladder. And for everyone else, that silencer is deadly and will not give away his position. Desi goes down to Offnu as well. Offnu picking up three already. And we'll be looking for the fourth on Dezebel. Desi fakes the plant. Liaz will be poking from Pop Dog. Will not find him as of yet. And it's all down to Dezebel. Liaz gets the kill from behind, though, and off new. Yet another 3k. Now in round 23. Absolutely. And this is just the. I think where Tainted Minds are winning a lot of those aim battles right now, we saw they were at a massive disadvantage sort of at the start of that round. They were 3v5. Uh, Liaz with not much health at all going into that round for the most part. Uh, but still, those just aim battles, so they were able to win everything out. Now, this is interesting. I do like this from TQM. They're going to try and... They're giving Tainted Minds actually, match point potentially. You know, they're, they're working their economy in a way that they can get these guns, but, you know... The possibility of them losing, they can uh, they can buy for the next. Infrequent, a good shot on SK, getting the flick down. He's not going to be able to find a second, however. Bubsy the problem will I up. have with this NCAT is they've bought pistols and they've bought Tech 9s. They've gone for a Tech 9 armor rush and then have not rushed. Infrequent's been able to get two kills. Inject now picking up Infrequent. They're going to look for the rush on the V site. Or they're just going to play up here in the top of B. They're not going to rush at all. And that's my problem. This round they had to either throw away or push hard, get guns, and get round number 10. However, they're playing passive, and I'm not agreeing with it totally. Bubsy is going to see Dezebel, and he's going to turn for the control. Looks for the third, and will find tags, but no kill on Dezebel with the Dezebel orb. Dezebel taking Liaz out, however, down in the ramp position. Bubsy, they, they have him cornered, however. Dezebel with only a little bit of HP, 24 to be exact, and an orb. Still a very deadly weapon, but Bubsy's just going to hold this angle. Oh, oh, no, he's no, not. No, Bubs, why? Bubsy's gone to flash out, and Dezebel has pushed through the smoke. Caught him out with perfect timing. Dezebel now rotating around. is on the A site and will look for the plant. This round has been huge. And Desi on a 2K could push this to a fourth in order to close out the round. Will need to if he wants to prevent the defusal. Tainted Minds are playing this smart are coming from either side to try and get a handle on him. Desbell watching Con. 
up to Dexter and Afnu, both on full health. Desi just needs to chest both of them. Afnu with the utility, and Dexter from behind will get the kill, and Tainted Minds push this to match point here on train. You know, I actually think, you know, honestly, moving forward here, they probably could have actually won that. If they, done, if they had armor and were able to be a little bit more aggressive, I think you're right, they would have won that. They are going to prepare themselves now for the hard slog. They need six rounds in a row against Tainted Minds in order to bring this back to an overtime. Doable, yes, but plausible, probably not. As we see, big kills coming out for Tainted Minds. They have controlled a total of six major rounds in this game, five of which have been in this half alone, and we are only ten rounds into this half. So... They, Tainted Minds are playing phenomenally. Their players are fragging up a storm, especially Liaz and Ofnu. And this is no exception. Dexter picking up two. Ofnu and Infrequent picking up one apiece. Infrequent rounds us out for the GG. Well played. Tainted Minds take away a huge game to finish us off for the night. They really do. Tainted Minds putting themselves, like I said, in a very good standing for the rest of their season right now. We are going to see a couple of replays coming in two. in just a moment. And here we are. This is the push. Of course, it is SK with help from the native of Cruden getting the 3K. And we're seeing Ofnu with the push here. That's one and two to bring through the round save. That was unbelievable there. He held that bomb with authority using those Molotovs. Authority. I like that. Authority. Holding a bomb with authority. I've never seen that used. I've never heard that used. That's good. It, like it's it. kind of like you grab it with both hands, you cup it. And you just, <laughs> it, it's there. It's like a good burger. It's like a Whopper. Okay, thanks for joining us here <laughs> on CGTV CSGO for the AOC Cyber Gamer Premier League winter season. My name is Judge, and I have been joined by NCAT for this week's production. Join us tomorrow night where we're going to have the remaining two matchups live for you. We'll see you then.